this was an ibex hunt that I never could have dreamed as a little girl I'd be able to do. And now here I am in some of the most beautiful country hunting this majestic animal and I couldn't have been happier. We are the fourth generation of hunters and our business is, is in the hunt. And these ibex, I am here to tell you, are some of the most beautiful animals you could ever imagine. I can't believe how many there are. So we're gonna drop down all the way to the bottom, and then that way we can see a lot more country. Looks like a really good one. They said the older they are, the darker they are. So this one looks really nice and dark, especially against the snow. So let's see what we can do. I'm worried I'm gonna get scoped in the face at this angle. I'm a huge fan of adventure hunts. I love going to new places and trying all new things. I've been lucky enough to go to New Zealand and hunt some of the world's most beautiful red sticks. Wow. You got to be kidding me. I've also been down to Belize, bone fishing, right in the middle of them. And up in Alaska, hunting brown bear. It's an incredible feeling. Adventure, kind of what I live for. I absolutely love it. Gorgeous coat. We're out here, kind of late season. So last year when I was at the SCI convention, well, I found ATP hunts. Spain hunts for Ibex. And I thought, this would be awesome. Now, I actually lived in Spain when I was in college, and I thought, I never had the money to go hunting, so I would love to go back. And I knew this was going to be an amazing trip. We just arrived here in Spain and we're out for the very first morning on an Ibex hunt. The sun is shining, but it is cold. Do not let the sun shine trick you. It's about minus five right now. My first time hunting in Spain. I lived here when I was younger. It's gonna be awesome. Wow, look at all of them down there. It's, do you see these first big rocks? Mm -hmm. Go down, 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 down. And for the top of the bushes, you will see a, a young Ibex on the top of one of the rocks. Pero el claro de acá, de, de, más abajo. Se ve un claro largo así. The first one, the, the, the dark one, has some fingers at the bottom. So the males are a lot darker then? Yeah, the, the, old, the old ones, they are more dark than the other. Like you can see, the young ones, they are more, more light. The color is more light. Older they are, more dark. The ones we're looking for, how old would they be? The mature one that we are looking for, they are about between 12 years old. 12 years 12, old? 12, 13, 14 years old. Okay. And what are you looking for in the horns? Uh, we're looking for the typical Gredos Ibex that is making one a, a lighter, you know. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, minimum we are shooting here is about 78, 80 centimeters uh -huh. over that. Wow. That's a big, big one. I can't believe how many there are here. Mm. And you know what? They all look big to me. So that's why it's important to surround yourself with people who really know what they're doing, who are good hunters and know what's going on. And Andreas from ATP Hunts absolutely knows his stuff. And I knew we were in good hands. 
We've got our first Ibex spot in. We've got sunshine here. He's over in the shade about 700 yards up. So we've got a good wind coming this way. We're just going to work our way around. They said a lot of the snow is pushing these Ibex up, which is perfect because we're up on top right now. So they're headed this way. We're going to try to maneuver around, get a closer look, but it looks like a really good one. They said the older they are, the darker they are. So this one looks really nice and dark, especially against the snow. So we're going to go around and see what we can do. Sportsman's Alliance, our heritage, our fight. Protecting hunting from coast to coast. Did you know the Sportsman's Alliance has fought to open access to public lands and to protect those specific lands? They helped make hunting a priority on national wildlife refuges and even sued the federal government last year to protect scientific predator management and hunting on those lands. Just another fun fact showing you how sportsmen and women are helping make a difference. So being in Spain, well this was something all new for me. This was an Ibex hunt that I never could have dreamed as a little girl I'd be able to do. And now here I am in some of the most beautiful country hunting this majestic animal and I couldn't have been happier. There were so many animals and one of the tactics that we were using is just walking and stalking along and then just stopping and glassing. And as we were stalking, we saw one of the most beautiful ibex I've ever seen, and we got right up on it. Now I'm talking 40, 50 yards. And apparently he knew, hey guys, look at this side, broke off, you don't want me. Now one of the things about ibex is they're not like a whitetail where they're losing their antlers every year. These are horns that just continue to grow, and when they fight, Sometimes they'll break those horns off, and when it breaks off, well, it's never going to grow back again. And you know, I loved it. I loved every moment of being in close because you get to see these animals interacting with each other. The females are awesome, and they like to stand up on the rocks and kind of look around and hop around. They kind of reminded me of pork chop hopping around, and it's just fun to sit back and to watch these animals and to get in that close. Now, I knew it wasn't always going to be this easy. But because we did get in on one, well, I was pretty confident. I knew we were in a good place and I could see just how beautiful these animals are. I mean, this Ibex would tilt his head back and their eyes just literally light up. That is pretty awesome. We got in super close, just an absolutely beautiful Ibex that just broke off. So we're gonna back out, but looks like he gets to live another day. And uh, he said they live quite a long time when they're broke off. So. <laughs> Lucky guy, I guess. Well, we have experience. We have. We are the fourth generation of hunters, and our business is is, is the hunt. We try to give the best service and, and the best area for our customers. And every year, we have more and more people hunting with us, and that means that we are doing it right. We have seen so many ibex i never expected to see this many the land is just full of them you'll be watching some and you'll see more ibex running in the background and one of the challenges here it's really cold today so everything is covered in ice and then there's snow on top of it so everything's really slippery so we're just trying to ease our way through just an awesome start up here in spain it's been a blast and it's tough terrain cold weather but we're having fun Memory Chase, building our future one child at a time. Memory Chase is all about getting more kids involved and features home video from viewers just like you. This week we're heading to South Dakota with 11 year old Judd Hansen. You see it? Just 
Wait, I'm gonna arrange it for you first, okay? Arrange it, hold on. He's 140 yards, okay? Okay, I'm gonna take it off safe for you. Yeah, whenever you're ready, put your finger on it, but make sure you're on the deer. Concentrate on keeping it on the deer. Okay, do you see the deer that's broadside? Uh, the one on the... There's two of them. Left? Yeah, there's one on the left that's broadside. Yeah. You want to shoot that one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you on him? I can, I'll, when you're ready, I'll zoom in. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Remember to concentrate on keeping your crosser right where you want to hit. Okay. Remember, right behind you. Whenever you're ready. Oh, got him. You got good. him. You got him. Oh, you got him. <laughs> you dropped him. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, what was that? Is that fun? Yeah. Give me five. Yes. Give five. Give it all. Give it back, five. <laughs> you smoked him. Hey, how you know how far that was? No. 140 yards. Oh. <laughs> so that was an awesome shot. I told you you could do it. That was easy, wasn't it? Yeah. That was a long shot too. Yeah. Hey, now you know what? We get to do it again, except no one gets to shoot this time. Should we go get another one? <laughs> it's cold. Do you have an amazing youth hunting experience you'd like to share with us on Memory Chase? You got him, buddy. Yes! Each week we highlight one young hunter on the show and present them with a huge prize pack that includes a brand new mission bow. For a chance to see your favorite kid on TV, visit MemoryChase.com for details. After all, our future is built one child at a time. This segment was brought to you by Boss Buck. For the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market, choose Boss Buck Feeders. Now you're getting serious. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Hard-Hitting Easton Arrows, Golden Triangle Whitetail, Winchester, the American Legend, National Deer Alliance, HHA Sports, the leader in single pin technology. Scent Killer Gold with Hunt Dry Technology Plus. Apply it, dry it, and go hunt. Rage Broadheads, leading the evolution in lethal technology. Convergent Hunting Solutions, where experience, innovation, and passion meet. Spy Point Trail Cameras. Sportsman's Alliance, protecting hunting from coast to coast. Engel Coolers, the original high-performance cooler company. And Moose Utility Division, your leader in ATV, UTV accessories. A big part of this hunt is basically sitting down and spending your time glassing. We're doing a lot of walking, and we're glass, and we've got these huge open areas. Now, right now, the sun just finally came out, so it's nice because they light up a lot better. It is amazing how well these animals are camouflaged in this terrain. And is it normal to have snow this early in December? No, it's normally later in the year, maybe January, but something happens. So you're thinking just kind of keep going this way and then drop down to the bottom? Yeah, that's right. And how deep is that little creek down there? Is there an easy way to cross? Yeah, it's easy to cross. And from there, we will decide which one. That's yeah, hard to see them from up on top. It seems like they're, you'd have a better vantage from yeah. the bottom. But then when we're at the bottom and we yeah. see one, we'll probably see one that on right. top. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Spain, and it is beautiful country. We started walking. I cannot believe how many ibex we have seen. They are all over. It takes a little bit to get used to seeing them, but they are all along the hillside. So what we're doing right now, we're up high, and because of the snow and cold weather, a lot of them have moved down. So we're going to drop down all the way to the bottom, and then that way we can see a lot more country. Now, as we were going, we spotted some beautiful animals. And in my book, they look like monsters. 
But Andrea said, no, 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 no. We've got a couple picked out that are huge, and I think you guys are in good enough shape we can get to them. But because we were in good shape, well, I was a little afraid Andreas was going to point up to the top one of these times and say, that's your Ibex on top. Cross the river over there and try to go closer. You know how it goes. The big ones never are in the easy spot. It's, the Ibex is with another four or five females that they are to the left side of the road and they must stay in that side. We will try to go as closer as possible. And finally, we spotted an absolute monster. Now, of course, we had been walking on the one ridge. We dropped all the way down to the bottom, and this was probably the highest up Ibex we had seen. And yep, he's the one we want to go after. Andreas looked at me and he said, that's a monster. Do you want him? And I said, you bet, let's go get him. So we started marching off. We were going straight up. It was rough, but you know what? It was worth every step of the way. We got an entire group of ibex up there. there. There's a bunch of females, and there's two males. One's much bigger than the other ones. But right now, he's just kind of covered up, so I'm just going to be patient. They all look extremely calm. Just going to, I'm on the sticks, get ready. When I get a good shot, I'm going to take them, but we'll not rush it. If they walk off, that's fine, whatever we have to do. But at this distance, 200 yards, I want to make sure that I'm totally steady, they're calm. As long as those females are staying put, those males should be there too. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Winchester, the American legend. Matthews Archery. Field and Stream, where traditions begin. Reinhardt, the best archery targets in the world. Garmin, enhance your outdoor adventures. Winchester, the American legend. S4 gear. Bino Dock, what a cup holder should be. SCI, first for hunters. EOTech, transform your arsenal. Waterhole, create water sources that attract and hold wildlife. And Boss Buck, for the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market. Now you're getting serious. This segment was brought to you by SCI, protecting hunters' rights and promoting wildlife conservation. SCI is first for hunters, but first can't stay first without you. Join like your way of life depends on it. His mouth is open. This one is open, yeah. Mouth is open, right? Yeah, the big one is in the back. And we can see only the head and the spine. Peter, can you see his mouth wide open? And even though we had gotten 40, 50 yards from that broke off Ibex earlier, I knew that probably wasn't going to be the case with this one. This was a big old Ibex and he had probably been hunted and we weren't going to get much closer. So we got around 200 yards from him, we set up and I had a straight up shot. Now I was trying to get situated because what I did not want to happen is to crowd that scope too much and end up getting scoped. And this Ibex was just kind of slowly making his way through and there was no reason to rush. Finally, he kind of presented the shot. I just nice and easy squeeze the trigger. Good. <laughs> and you could see that vapor trail all the way to him, and he just dropped right there in his tracks. This is awesome. We set up on this ibex. We have such a steep angle. We were way down on the bottom. We made it within 200 yards. I wanted to get within 200 yards, and I just let him feed and feed and feed. And I was just worried that you know I couldn't see his whole body, so we just kept waiting. <laughs> wow, it is so beautiful out here. We started off this morning, it was like below, I don't know, negative five. And now I'm stripped down to almost nothing. I'm sweating, it's hot. <laughs>
Wow, what a beautiful animal. That's the best one we saw, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's a big, big one. Wow, that's awesome. Good work. <laughs> Good job. Congratulations. Thank you. And honestly, walking up on this animal, it is truly a magnificent animal. <laughs> wow. Look at the size of that. It's a big one. Wow. That is huge. <laughs> wow. Look at this! Wow, my very first ibex. We're out here in Spain. It's my very first Grados ibex. Absolutely beautiful. And this is just a damn. Mm -hmm. He's one huge, isn't he? Absolutely, one of the big ones. Wow. And the best part is, my mom still is going to be hunting. <laughs> so we're going to let her do some hunting next. And I got my very first ibex, and I am thrilled. Thank you. Thank you very much. Their fur is incredible. They've got beautiful eyes, just big sweeping horns. And the best part is you are sitting literally on top of the world. How many people can say they're up in the mountains of Spain, shot a beautiful animal, and sometimes you just got to take all that in. Closed captioning is brought to you by Spy Point Trail Cameras. Stunning picture quality combined with leading cellular technology will keep you instantly in the loop right from your phone.